Yo, what's up everybody, it's your man Chris Thorne, so coming to you with a real quick update. I just went live about this young man's story about uh, Cody Bixby, the you know, four-year-old out there in Hampton, uh, Virginia. I think I said it right. I know it's in Hampton. I think it is in Virginia. Four-year-old Cody Bixby is missing, and uh, as you see down here at the bottom, uh, the photo shot that I did, he was last seen at 2 o'clock by his dad. And what we have learned in my live stream, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people are probably going live about it now, that uh, the police say that the parents are a uh, person of interest and saying they both of their story to daddy and mom is not matching the evidence that they have found, all right? So in this update, I want to show you all something real quick. In this update, we have... Oh, that's the wrong one. Hold up. Hold up. All right, somebody has sent me this. This uh, legend, This is a father of Cody Bixby, Core Bixby. Uh, this is a wrist. This is a wrist picture. I'm assuming. Um, now I want y'all to pay attention to what it says right here uh, at the top. Let me see if I can stretch it so y'all can see this. So when I hopefully y'all can see this, um, it says right here. As we continue in day two of the search for Cody Bixby, authorities are considering both Cody's parents, both parents, persons of interest. We are also learning that Cody's father has a history of simple assault on a family member from 2019. Let me repeat that. We are also learning that Cody's father had a history of a simple assault on a family member back in 2019. All right. So, and it's amazing when we do these stories that um, when these people look back on these people or what their history is like. And if I was to judge a book by his cover, looking at uh, Mr. Core right here, he look like he a beast to be reckoned with, you know, and he looks mean as hell. And uh, if he gets mad, he'll probably do some damn things, you know, uh, he look like he quick tempered. That's if you're going by a book by judge of the book by his cover, but you know, I don't know the man, you know, but I'm pretty much sure uh if one of y'all was to go back and look at his criminal history, you probably see a whole lot of stuff, not just this, probably a whole lot of stuff that he has done in the past. Now I'm saying that nobody can I say anybody can change from the past? For sure, a lot of people can change from the past, you know. It just up to you if you want to change or not, you know. But uh but with a lot of stuff that look, they look up, you know, it goes into the present of what we're talking about right now, you know. And again, the police are saying that he, not a his story, nor the mom's story is matching up to what they have found far as evidence goes for this missing young man. So uh, I wanted to bring this update to y'all that we have pitched. Because I, I remember somebody on my channel said they would like to see what the parents look like. So we see what he did like. Now we just need to see what the mom look like, you know. And I guess y'all make y'all judgment on what y'all see what's going on with these stories. But anyway, I'm your man, Chris Thorns. Got to get up out of here. As always, y'all let me know what y'all think with this story. And uh, we want to keep uh, gonna keep up with this story as much as we possibly can till we get to the bottom of it and see what's going on. And as always, people, children do not disappear. Y'all take care of yourself and each other. Keep your kids safe. Peace out.